Is there anything you do as far as your athletes in terms of utilizing cold or hot or any type of like sauna, cold? Like what do you do anything there? Or do yeah. you utilize anything there? Love cold therapy. Uh, what kind? Cold plunge. Cold plunging. Yeah. Okay. Versus cryo, because like I, I don't do cryotherapy, but I've heard people talk about it. And I'm curious, do you know the differences? Is Yeah, you're not going to get the same effects from. Also, one of the biggest things that we need to speak about is adherence. Uh huh. Adherence to anything, whether it's a diet, exercise regime, that's probably the biggest risk factor to anybody getting to where they want. Yeah. It's not going and doing it once. It's a, so. Cryotherapy is a lot of money, right? Kobe Bryant had one in his house. Why can't we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, Tony Robbins also has one. Oh, really? So if you're, if you, you know, some of my athletes want to get one, I'm like, no, just get a cold plunge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cold plunge seems to work a lot better, especially so when you're there's differences. You have got when we, you know, submerse ourselves in cold water, we release something called cold shock proteins. Mm-hmm. Likely, if we go into the sauna, we're releasing heat shock proteins. And these cold shock proteins are amazing. They can immediately raise the amount of norepinephrine that is secreted. And that's that, you know, that's that hormone or neurotransmitter, depending on where it's coming from, Mm -hmm. is involved in vigilance, focus. That's why it's so good to do these first thing in the morning. Yeah. Uh, So I love, I love that. And it also has an effect when it comes to TBI in the brain through this pathway called the RBM3 pathway. Sorry. What's TBI? Traumatic brain injury. Okay. Yeah. So it's really great for athletes who are getting hits to the head, mm. traumas to the head, which is just so deleterious. I don't know why people are doing these sports. Yeah. So it can help with that. So I love the cold for both the mood boosting benefits, but also the brain boosting benefits. However, I think there's a myth around the window of when to get into these cold baths. Ooh. Yeah. So you can mitigate the effects of a hypertrophy session yeah. if you get into the cold bath you know, 10 minutes after training. Mm-hmm. Power Project family, your normal shoes are making you weak. This is why I partner with Vivo Barefoot Shoes because they have a wide toe box, they're flat and they're flexible. So with every single step you're taking, if you're taking a 10 minute walk outside or when you're working out in the gym, your feet are able to do what they're supposed to do in this shoe. They have tons of options for hiking, running, training in the gym, chilling and relaxing, casual shoes for if you're out on a date. You need to check them out. And Andrew, how can they get it? Yes, that's over at vivobarefoot.com slash power project. And you guys will receive 15% off your order automatically. Again, vivobarefoot.com slash power project. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. So let me ask you this, because like there's so many people that we've heard say this um, and we even tell people be a little bit careful. But uh, let's say you do lift. Right. How long later would you suggest somebody get in? Maybe the next morning? Is that something that you would have them just like keep it away from your lifting session? I would generally say three hour window. Three hour Mm. window. Yeah. That's cool. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I was a triathlete, no one was getting into cold plunges, but Mm -hmm. we were straight after swimming. We'd have um, in our... Yeah, and now for <laughs> some reason we'd get, but you got to remember Australia. So I was training in an indoor pool. Uh, okay. So we'd okay. train and you'd be so hot because we'd be training mm. so much. He'd just push us into this cold bath and mm-hmm. the where we would be training, they'd have a cold bath <laughs> and then we'd go from there into the spa, back into the cold. And he used to just throw ice on us. It was, oh. I trained with all men as well. And 100% of my athletes now are men. Why? I know. Where are the ladies at? I don't know. Maybe they're scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but if it's yeah, it's it's funny. Yeah. All of my my lads are, are lads because I, I work with NBA, mm. NFL, cricket. I wanted to work with Serena. She was my my gold athlete, and then she went and retired. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got Osaka? Maybe you can get her. Naomi Osaka. I want to get her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she actually. I think she needs me. There we if go. If she's listening. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.